Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a first impression on the Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel. Before we begin today's video, I'd love to thank all of those who are new. Thank you so much for subscribing and for those of you who aren't new, thank you so much for watching my videos. It literally means the world to me. If you have yet to subscribe, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. We are doing a first impression on the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. Um, and I kind of winked, winked at you because this is not the first time trying it. I did uh, purchase a unit a very, a very, a very long time ago. I want to say maybe five to six, maybe seven years ago. And I gave this product a shot a couple of times and then I just handed it off to my mom. Just felt like it didn't really work for me. So that's why I winked at you. Where can you find the Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel? She can be found in a number of different retailers, but to name a few, um, Beautylish, PeterThomasRoth.com, uh, Skin Store, Sephora, and Ulta. This product retails for $48 and you do receive 3.4 fluid ounces here. This product claims to visibly, physically, and enzymatically exfoliate the skin by rolling and lifting and sweeping away uh, when the gel is massaged into the skin. You have pineapple, pomegranate, and keratinase to exfoliate the skin leaving it smoother without drying or irritating the skin. So we have just a few uh, ingredients here to chat about. We have pineapple, pomegranate, and keratinase enzymes that will exfoliate the skin enzymatically. As you know, I do love a good enzymatic exfoliation, especially for skin that tends to congest or break out. Um, you also have glycerin and hyaluronic acid within this formula uh, that hydrate and soothe the skin. Hyaluronic acid, as we know, uh, can hold 1,000 times its weight in water, making it an optimal hydrator for all skin types. As far as the packaging, it comes in a silver kind of plastic tube with a black plastic is it cohesive with the brand? Um, it is definitely cohesive with uh, Peter Thomas Roth's newest releases, the Firm X kind of range, where they just released a collagen serum, a cream, and an eye cream, which you will see me use in the demo portion of today's video. Um, I do have one question for you. Um, do you enjoy demos in first impressions or product reviews? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will keep inserting them within these videos. I am a visual learner, so I automatically think that everybody is that way and I like to see, you know, the skin and, and what happens to it afterwards. So just do let me know what your preference is in the comments down below. I would really, really appreciate that. What do I like about the packaging? Of course, the squeezy tube definitely uh, facilitates the application process and you can manage how much you apply over the skin. Having the squeezy tube also facilitates the application process without potentially um, decreasing the efficacy of the product where it packaged in a jar. Now we will move on to the demo portion of today's video. Welcome to the demo portion of today's first impressions video. Um, let's chat about my skin. Um, she is looking much, much better than the situation that we had going on last week. My breakouts are healing. These two are completely healed. She's smooth. She's not breaking out anymore. Um, just doing very, very well. So today we are testing or doing a first 
impressions on the Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel. Peter Thomas Roth very generously sent this to me um, a while back. I have used this before and yeah, I told you my experience. I just felt like it didn't do much for my skin so we shall see if it will do anything for my skin today. When I was in esthetician school, we were learning about mechanical exfoliants um, and we performed kind of like a gamage exfoliation on each other. And gamage is a French um, exfoliation method where gamage means to erase. This is done by pairing enzymes with mechanical exfoliation by gently rubbing the product to activate it. The enzymes here break down the topical keratin protein and remove dead skin cells. Um, a few days after I received this particular treatment or exfoliation uh, method, I had a rash for about five five days so my skin didn't do very well um so we'll see hopefully i do not get a rash from this if i do get a rash from this in the uh, you know following days i will be sure to update um the bottom bar for you so make sure that you click that um, before you x out of this video directions apply a generous amount to clean dry skin Gently massage in circular motion to visibly exfoliate. Rinse well with water. For an extra enzymatic exfoliation, leave on for one to five minutes before rinsing. Use one to three times a week depending on your skin's sensitivity. So that is what we will do today. I do love the packaging and the tube. Um, sealed, of course. Apply a generous amount. Okay, so this much. Apply that there. Apply that here. And apply that there. Um, so we'll just start working it in circular motions. So you can definitely see it kind of balling up and rolling up. Apply just a little bit more here along the nose and chin. Just a little bit more around the cheeks. I have not physically exfoliated the skin since I want to say Monday or Tuesday. I have been, like I mentioned earlier, used a glycolic acid based serum morning and evening that I am currently testing. So I have been physic I'm sorry, chemically exfoliating the skin. And as you know, I do love an enzymatic exfoliation, especially on incredibly congested skin. So I think that is all I'm going to do as far as working this into the skin in circular motions. Okay, so I have a ton of it here. For extra enzymatic exfoliation, leave on for one to five minutes before rinsing. So it's now five, uh, 3.33. I'm going to leave it on for about two and a half minutes. And then I will rinse her off. Okay, so it's now 5.37. I am going to rinse this off and then I will be right back. <laughs> Hello, it's me again. This is my skin with no toner. And there is definitely a healthy glow to it. Oh my God, look at that glow. 
I have not applied toner. Skin does feel very smooth. And again, I am loving how my forehead is looking. That is wild. Yeah, I am seeing a lot of hyperpigmentation here. Enjoying the results so far from this product. Wow, I, I'm impressed. Um, I did leave it on for five minutes. I did change my mind and I said, let's just sit for another two and a half minutes. Why don't we? I like this a lot. So I do, like I said, I do love a good enzymatic exfoliation. Um, if you are interested in another enzyme-based product, I will link my Good Molecules video up above here. I filmed that last week. Um, so if you're curious, if you want a different method of an enzymatic exfoliation, click that video so you can get an idea of another product that, you know, is available for you. But wow, I am impressed. Okay, so I am going to do a daytime routine here for you using more Peter Thomas Roth products. However, uh, right now I'm gonna use the Murad Hydrating Toner. This has been a favorite of mine for years and years. So this is just going to intensify the uh, luminous glow that we have going on as soon as this dries. Now that this is dry, you can definitely see a healthy, luminous glow to the skin. To follow the toner, I am going to be using the Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Collagen Serum. Uh, this has seven forms of collagen and collagen supporting ingredients to help improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, elasticity, and sagginess. I do love the packaging of this range, by the way. It, you know, kind of goes together. Um, so I'm gonna do one full pump. Do a little bit more here along the neck. Okay, for eye cream, I'm gonna be using the Firm X Collagen Eye Cream. This again contains seven forms of collagen and collagen supporting ingredients. This is going to help your crow's feet firmness, darkness, and puffiness. I do love the texture of this. This has got a gel-like texture. Um, I have been loving this, as you can tell. I do like to take a wee bit and tap it here along the ring finger and then just tap it over the beneath the eye area. If you are concerned with milia around the eye area, I highly recommend using gel-based eye creams like this one that is going to minimize the chances of you developing uh, milia or just kind of white bumps. And then for moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with the Firmex Collagen Moisturizer. This has seven forms of collagen and collagen supporting ingredients. This is going to help with fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, dryness, and it's going to leave your skin plump with moisture. And this is the consistency of this cream. Again, another gel-based hydrator. This one feels a little bit heavier than my other gel-based hydrators, at least like as far as the application process. She can be thick and a little difficult to spread throughout. I'm gonna bring her down as well. And then I'm gonna follow um, a sunscreen, of course, with the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Naked SPF 45. Um, I used an entire uh, tube of this last year and I enjoyed it. It does give the skin a very luminous finish, um, so you can definitely see how glowy the skin is here. all set with the demo portion of today's video. So now that you have all uh, watched the demo portion, you can see how great my skin looked uh, even after just removing the peeling gel. Um, as far as uh, product application, uh, I did notice that where I applied more product on top of what I had already kind of swept 
away, um, the product didn't ball up anymore. So it could have meant that it had already kind of picked up all of that dead cellular debris. There is no scent and no added fragrance to this, which I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I did not feel a tingle or a pin prickle whatsoever. The removal process was a little interesting. It, you know, of course, with you having a lot of, you know, debris over the skin, it was kind of hard to wash off easily. I mean, it came off, yes, but there was a lot of kind of debris over the skin. After masking, you definitely saw what the skin looked like. And now after, you know, applying a full face of makeup, um, my skin looks really good. I know last last couple of videos, my skin was looking um, like I was feeling. I was stressed out, um, but right now my skin is looking so much better. Um, makeup application went really really well my skin looks very smooth the makeup looks great so i don't have any complaints um, as far as uh, the product working negatively or against makeup application and you also saw me doing a kind of a daytime routine the products worked beautifully together um, this product didn't you know kind of change the way the products worked over the skin and then as far as when I would personally uh, use this I would say um, at the end of the day um, or like I did today before a makeup application if you want a smooth uh, canvas for your makeup I would use it then this again is not a chemical exfoliant so you're not going to feel a tingle or a pin prickle if you enjoy that type of a feeling this may not be the product for you. I would recommend this to um, anyone with normal skin that suffers from a congestion uh, that can tolerate that rubbing, that mechanical exfoliation. Um, as I mentioned in my previous uh, Good Molecules uh, video, um, enzymes are great for sensitive skin as well. So if you have sensitive skin that just cannot tolerate alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acids, but does very, very well with that mechanical exfoliation, um, you could definitely sample this. I know that there is a mini version of this and she retails for about $16. Just buy a mini test it out and see how it works on your skin. As far as rating this product, I am going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I am deducting 1.4 animal testing and 0.5 points for having less than uh, five poor ingredients. So that is something new I've added onto my rating system. So if you have one to five poor ingredients, I will dock 0.5 points. And then if you have six to 10 uh, bad ingredients or poor ingredients, I will deduct one point. So I'm gonna start to do that with each product that I do either a first impression on or a product review on. That way you can have more information available. That is all I have for this uh, Peter Thomas Roth Firmex Peeling Gel first impressions. So let me know what your favorite enzyme based product is in the comments down below. I would love to know. I hope you are all staying safe and staying home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a brand new upload. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I thought it was an earthquake. <sighs> I don't need any more stress.